Hoffer. Good to see ya. Hello, everybody. We're we're back. I'm back. This is my my second stream since I got back from vacation. Um, we're here with the Legend of Agaia. I have been wanting. I've been thinking about this game while I was out. Uh, because it's such a good game. <laughs> I want to finish it. Hello. Haven't caught a stream since before. Ya left. Well, there wasn't much to catch up on. I think I just had my, um, my, I had a Pokemon card opening stream uh, on Sunday. So, um, if anybody out there is interested in Pokemon, we got some good pools. So, it might be fun to watch. But yeah, I, I was kind of dead last weekend. I, I really wanted to stream. I, I was like, I was like, I want to stream. I miss, I miss streaming. But I was, I was super dead. I'm still a little bit jet lagged, even though it's been more than a week since I got back. But, uh, um, but yeah, I want to stream. So we're doing it. Um, it's good to be back. Okay, so we are here with Legend of Agaia. Um, last time I had to actually like go back and look at my VOD to remember where I was because <laughs> I couldn't remember what I was doing. Um, we, we went into the underground or we're in this underground city called Octum. A bunch of people are hiding here to get away from the mist, which is covering the land on the surface and making a lot of monsters go crazy and people go crazy. Um, and there's a bunch of people hiding down here, but there were some bad guys further down that were causing the uh, the city to crumble. So we went th down there and beat the guy up. Uh, his name was Zane. He was kind of friendly, actually, except for the fact that he was, like, like trying to destroy the town. <laughs> um, but he made... Was it him, or was there some other entity? I don't remember. But the bad guy froze the whole underground before dying. And this guard was like, well, that's probably not anything bad. And we're like, yeah, probably not. So, uh, yeah, but we defeated the guy. We were told by the flying babies, the flying three babies, that we should go defeat the guy. And we did what the baby said. Um, the babies turned into spirits and flew away. So I don't know what their deal is, but let's let's talk to the townspeople. Oh my gosh, I have no MP. Let's talk to the townspeople and see how they feel about their town being not uh, crumbling anymore. What do you have to say? As there won't be any earthquakes, I don't have to worry about the house collapsing at any minute. Oh good. We have relieved some anxiety. Are you all happy in here? The earthquake stop! My house is saved! Oh, how wonderful! Oh, they're all happy. I want to show my child a surface world free of the mist. Please do whatever you can. Our home is going to get broken anymore. Goody! Goody is right. Okay. Nice strata. I join in in this no context right now and it's wild. <laughs> I don't know how to like describe it more succinctly. There really isn't a way unless I just describe the whole story from scratch, so I apologize. Um, but yeah, the flying babies are important. Uh, the mayor has given you, the once wearing roster, special permission to use the elevator. Oh, this is the elevator. We don't want to go there yet. That I think that progresses the story. So let's talk to some more people. Let's talk to you, child. Kid, talk to me. I like being inside the house. There are a lot of people and everyone is so happy. That was perfect. I'm choosing to believe I'm up to speed. I'm excited for flying babies. Excellent. This used to be the mayor's house, but now it's a shelter for people who lost their homes. We knew that. They say you're going to carry out Hari's dying wishes. Hari is the flying babies. They talk of Hari... They talk about Hari as if he is one person, but he is actually three babies. He is a person in the form of three babies. So that's who Hari is, in case that's uh, that clears anything up for anyone out there. Now that Hari is gone, you are our only hope. Thanks to you, we don't have to live in fear of the earthquakes anymore. If you're looking for the mayor, he's always upstairs on the third floor. Now that the earthquake stop, we'll be safe for a while. If only the mist would disappear. Okay, let's see what's going on. Hive main aerial babies. Yep. They're also like I, I said flying babies, but they're actually dead. I think they like turned into spirits. They were like actual babies and then they turned into spirits and flew away. So I don't know. Um, anyway, may or may not be dead. Schrodinger's babies. I 
I can't stand it anymore. I don't care if the earthquake stopped. I want to go to the surface. Well, you can if you want. It just won't go very well. We're glad the earthquake stopped, but I hope it doesn't affect the subterranean lava flows here. Oh yeah, so you youngsters got rid of that underground monster, Zane, did you? How'd you know whose name was? I hope destroying Zane doesn't have any bad side effects. Hmm, me too. I sure hope it doesn't have any side effects for other places we've been to. That old lady there must be feeling better. She started to insult people again. Oh really? Insult me, lady. Humph! <laughs> Stopping the earthquakes isn't going to bring my family back to me. Oh, that's not an insult. That's just... That's just sad. I'm sorry. There used to be ancient ruins here. But when the mist covered the outside world, we came here to hide and built new homes here. This game is really how many adjectives can we add to the word, baby? Oh, hello. I'm getting in shape for the day the mist disappears. Leave me alone. <gasps> Have I talked to this person before? I love this guy. This is how I get into shape also. Laying, laying down. Good for you, man. Sleeping soundly. Earthquake stopped, but it'll be lonely in this world without Hari here. Hope is stronger than any nightmarish reality. Oh man, I can't remember what these NPCs said before. It'd be nice to compare. Thank you, ha ha. Thank you so much, ha ha. It's all thanks to you, ha. Ha ha ha. This is what you'd call a smile of satisf satisfaction. I'm so happy words can't describe. Say, I have a favor to ask of you, ha ha. Would you bring some spring salts from Vidna? That's a town known for its hot springs. I'm prepared to reward you. I hope you can do this for me. Ha ha. One more thing. I have instructed the guards to let you use the elevator. Please use it. Ha ha. Okay. Okay, Mayor. You want some bath salts? I guess we can get you some bath salts. Uh, we didn't talk to these people. I'll get stronger and then I'll protect all the town's people. I don't know why I gave him that voice. Oh, hello. You're the kid that looks like you might be a main character, but you're not. Oh, poor Hari. Yeah, Hari freaking died. DDR? <laughs> hey, buddy. Not yet. I don't think we're there yet. Oh. See, the. Okay. They have. The townspeople have set up some graves, I think, for the three babies that were one person. So, uh. Let's see. Here lies present Hari, with words filling a thousand books, soothing many nightmares. Here lies past Hari. Bravely, he'd looked back on the past. Now the past returns to the earth. Realized future Hari, with his lamp of words shining light on the dark future. Oh. Okay. I took somebody, somebody put like a miracle water as an offering, I guess, and I just took it. Cool. I want to return to the surface and work in my garden. Please help us. Have you ever been to Vinna where the hot springs are? Yeah. You're lucky. In Vinna, they use windmills to push back the mist, right? They sure do. I wonder why you would mention that now. I'm going to preach Hari's message to everyone. That will be my reason for living. And after Hari has survived the mist for so long, please avenge his death. Destroy the mist and its henchmen. We'll never forget Hari or you. Thank you so much for everything. I see. So the mist henchmen are underground, are they? Not anymore. Oh, hello. It's, uh, what's Deborah? Deborah, whose house fell into the ground. When I go back to the surface, I'm going to build a new house. Good for you, Deborah. I'm glad you feel better. Okay, what else we got over here? Oh, more people. Don't panic. We'll be returning to the surface soon. That's what I tried to believe. It's so cold. I'm chilled to the bone. What I need now is a nice dip in the hot springs of Vidna. Burr, it's cold here. I wonder if this is because the magma underground is frozen. Oh yeah, I guess the town would get colder, huh? Because all the ground below is frozen. The Miss Henchman did something to the geothermal heat. I think they cooled the magma. I hope that doesn't affect the hot springs. The Sebukas Islands are a volcan volcanic region, you know. Hmm. Interesting. It's been 10 years since I saw anyone flying s wearing through. Oh, we talked to this guy before. Flying trains. Okay, we've talked to these guys. These engineer dudes. 
sequestered into a single dormitory. Can I rest? What do you have to say? The earthquakes have stopped. You can see the hope on people's faces. I'm going to keep doing business to save enough money for when we return to the surface. Hello, I'm the hero of your town. Will you give us free... Darn it. No. Anybody downstairs to talk to you? I'm from Ratayu. I wonder how the town is now. Where's Ratayu? I don't think we've been there yet. After all that's happened, I'm exhausted. Oh yeah, because you did a lot of work. <laughs> oh, I'd like to go to the Vidna Hot Springs and relax. People sure are mentioning Vidna a lot. Sky, the clouds, the stars, the rain, night and day, the wind, the sea, the flowers. Mommy and Grandma talk about all these things, but I don't really understand. Oh, we talked to this kid before. Yeah, this child was born and raised underground. Doesn't know about what's going on. Should I heal my magic? Maybe I should. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll spend 200 G. Or maybe I could have waited until... Well, whatever. Is there anything cool for me to buy? Head to club. Oh my god, I have so much money! Where did I get all this money? I need to get Gala some... Gala doesn't have anything equipped on his body, I think. Yeah, he doesn't have any body armor. Okay. Let's buy some body armor for Gala. Hitting plate? I guess that's the best thing we can get him. Oh, I will equip. Okay. Jeweled clip. Should get a jeweled clip. Get one for Noah. Iron Man armor, expert seal. Oh, it's so expensive! We can at least get this. Okay. I will save my money. And skip this upgrade. And we can sell. Beam clip. And Iron Man seal. Uh, and red club. Okay. Oh, I have money again. I just buy the armor. Yeah, let's buy it. So, uh, save your clothes. Okay. Okay. Now we're all ready to go. So we gotta go get some salts, bath salts from Vidna. Seems easy enough. Seems easy enough. Save. Okay, so this is the elevator to the surface. Hello. I'll never forget you. Thank you so much. The mayor has instructed me to let you heroes of the Rasu use the elevator. Please go ahead. All right. Bye, everybody. Whoa. That's kind of a cool elevator. Where is this? <laughs> where, where is this? Oh, oh, this is in, this is in Octum's like, secret air area. Okay. Where we met, uh, Kara. Pink-haired thief lady. A while back. I wonder how she's doing. Tick -tick 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 -tick. Orb. <laughs> Ow. Ow. 
how does Gala look with his new armor? Oh, he's got... He's got... He's got, like, brown and white. Ow. Dun, 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 dun. I forgot how to play. I'm just gonna do whatever I put in from last time. Hey, what? Why didn't she do her special attacks? She low on a AP. Punch that bee. Die. Killer B, more like <laughs> killed B. Uh -huh. Okay. Wait, that's where I came in from. What? Where is this? Okay. Let's leave. So th that place we just ran through is the old town of Octum. So that's, I think, that's where um, the, t the townspeople that we met underground used to live in this town. But then they all like ran underground to escape the, escape the monsters. So wait, where am I going? Where's Vina? Vina's over there. Okay, so I go in a big loop-de-loop. Lip kid. I wonder if I should stream on Monday. I, I have the day off work on Monday, so maybe I should do a do an extra afternoon stream. And if so, maybe I should maybe I should just play Legend of the Guy again. I think tomorrow I want to play um, Harvest Moon, but I also want to finish that. And then, um, and then Sunday I want to do an actual art stream for once in my life. They offer what? Just because? Yeah, basically. So my my com my company that I work for. Um, it's really nice. They just kind of like have a- Oh, I hate this attack. Um, they have like, they just like added extra days off, um, for everyone. Um, and, uh, the reason it's nice that the company kind of like decides the days is because like, people aren't just like, like, it's not like some people are working and some people are not working. It's just like the company said, like, everybody gets this particular day off the calendar. Um, just to, like, have an extra break. They added it during um, COVID times. Because um, they were like, things are really hard. Let's add some extra days off for everybody. At, in kind of, like, a coordinated way. And so that way, like, you're not, like, stressed about, like, missing anything. Or, like, having to, you know, keep catch up on things when you get back. Because, like, everybody's taking the day off at the same time. Yeah, it's really, really nice. It's so nice. I it, I enjoy it very much. How many gave us Juneteenth and took away a different holiday? What? <laughs> Why would they do that? Why would they take away a different one? That's so sad. Oh no. Oh man. They the same amount of days off? Oh no! Boo! Not based. A cringe move, in fact. That's sad. And meanwhile, the, like, non-Americans who may be listening to the stream are like, What the... what the heck? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, it's a little days off. My old place was like that we got Memorial Day and then didn't get another holiday? What? That's so sad. 
Yeah, I, I'm I'm very lucky to be working where I am. I I think um, you know I don't I don't think any company's ever and no company is perfect, but um, one thing that the place I work at does get right is that I feel like they do have pretty good like employee benefits. That's so sad. I'm really spoiled too because th this is my. I'm still at the company that I joined straight out of school. Like, I've never worked for a long time. I've had like internships and stuff at other places, but I've never worked for a long time at other companies. And so, I. I my. My. My standard has been set high. <laughs> it's like if I. If I ever quit and try to move to like a different company. That that other company is gonna have to like meet this like very high bar for this sort of thing. So I I, I got really lucky when I graduated. <laughs> okay, we are almost to Vidna. Wow, I feel like I'm a lot stronger than I used to be. I don't know if it's just... I feel like I'm one-shotting a lot of the... critters. Okay. Let's see what's going on. Wait, let me save. Let me save. Not that anything bad's gonna happen. The NPCs were sure talking about Vinna a lot. I wonder why. Surely nothing of note will be happening here. Right? Right. Hey. Chat, if you take a look at the, uh... If you take a look at the town on the world map, notice how the windmills aren't moving? Um... Because they were moving before. And now they're not. So uh, let's see what happened. <laughs> Noah's like, ooh, fun. I'm like, yep. Sure looks covered in mist. The mist. Vinna is covered in the mist. What's going on? Both of you, look. The windmills that were protecting Vinna from the mist, they've stopped. Hmm. You don't suppose it's because the magma cooled? The effects could have spread this far. What irony. Vaughn. Vaughn, let's see if anyone's still alive. Oh, no one looks so sad. Do you see her? Her head is like, ha she was hanging her head and then she kept her head hanging while she was walking. Oh, it's so sad. Time to loot all the houses. I mean, find survivors. Uh, oops. Let me see. Is there anybody around? Hello? Anyone? Oh, cupboard's empty. They loot. They looted it earlier. Hello? Oh, that door opening sounds kind of scary. Somebody under the bed? Anybody here? Nobody, I guess? Nobody on the beach? Hello? Anybody in the store? Hello? Board's empty. Anybody on the beach? Probably not. Ah! Ethereal? Did everyone leave their windows open? How'd the mist get in there? <laughs> I don't know. Well, I did leave the door wide open when, when I got in, so maybe it's my fault. Maybe it's my fault. What is this thing, Ariel? Orb level two! 
Ooh. Well, I don't think orb level two is of any use to us, because I think we all have we all have orb already. Yeah. Okay, let's just punch these guys. Oh, 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 oh you scary thing. Chop him. Chop him. Oh, orb is tanky. Oh, never mind. Wow, I feel so strong. I now have the healing bloom. What is this town of like weird? Hello? Anybody in here? Hello? Oh, this is the uh, the workout room. Or where the monks were staying. Hello? Anybody in here? Oh, it's the shelter! Silence. <laughs> Who is it? Are you human? No. <laughs> Silence. Oh no! <laughs> I thought it would be funnier. Oh, thank goodness. So there are still other humans not possessed by Saru. Go ahead, get in. I'll start the elevator. Whoa, hey. There's a, somebody dragged the slot machine in here. Look at this. Hello. What's going on here? The hot spring water suddenly turned to cold. The windmills are stopped. There's nothing to keep the mist out. Some rascal must be fooling around with the magma underground. Wasn't us! The shelter saved a lot of people in Vinda from the mist. My husband, Dampas, he built the shelter, but later on, he went outside to look for people who didn't make it and never came back. It's just not fair. Aw, what a hero. I'm just an old hag who's bad mouthing Dampas. Now I've learned my lesson. Dampas had great foresight. Have you been to Ratayu? No. Really? Ratayu is also known for its hot springs, but who knows what has happened to them now? Oh. All that's going on, this ain't the time for sightseeing. But anyway, if you want to rest, I'll lend you my bed. How about it? Oh, I could have rested for free! <laughs> Darn. Pepe. Pee pee. It's pee pee! Vaughn, I'm so glad you're safe. I somehow managed to survive. I don't care. Where's the mist generator? I don't know. But I do know that the mist blows from the northwest. Northwest? Okay. That means you may find the mist generator if you go past Ratayu. You guys come from the outside? What's it like on the outside? Thick mist that monsters everywhere. It's impossible to describe? Silence. I'm scared! Please make the mist go away! Oh no. Did I, did I make him cry? Uh-oh. Wait, what happens if I see the other thing? Oh, he just like, was like, okay. Mommy and daddy aren't here anymore. They're in the mist. <gasps> oh no, that's so sad. What a catastrophe. But who would think everyone would be saved by Dompus, the one we all made fun of? Ain't that how it goes. First the windmill stopped all of a sudden, right? Then the mist came, and then those Saru. Oh, it's the- it's the old guy that was bathing in the hot springs! <laughs> oh no, where's his clothes? So, we were looking for someone or something? Looking for Dampus? Looking for treasure? Those are my two options, I guess. I'm looking for Dampus. Huh, Dampus, huh? Fortunately, I have no idea where Dampus is. Are you looking for anything else? Treasure, I guess. What? You're after treasure at a time like this? It doesn't make much sense, but it's not for me to say, eh? Alright, I'll tell you. I feel like I was... I feel like I was entrapped. <laughs> like, one of the options I got was... I don't... I don't freaking know. Why would I know? And the other option was... What the heck? Why would you be doing... Looking for that? Oh, well. Go to the machine room. There's some treasure there. Like, the magical spring salts? 
The water's cooled down, so you should be able to walk around inside. Are you looking for anything else? Anything in particular? Hey, care, youngster. If you want to play a game, go to the machine and drop a coin in. I mean, I guess entertainment is necessary to keep people sane. So, I guess the person who brought this was big bra was big brain and. Okay, let's save. Um, I guess we should go find those those salts in the machine room. If I rem remember correctly, the machine room was on like the top right of the town. So we can try going there. Um, I don't think anyone's around. Right? I mean, it'd be kind of a relief if we didn't run into any people up here because that means everybody made it down to the, uh... Oh, I should have healed for free. I forgot. Dang it. Oh! Sorty. It was bad to attack them from behind, but... Oh, never mind. Ow. Oh, but, um, speaking of having an extra day to stream on Monday, um... I was thinking of Legend of the Gaia, or I was thinking about playing maybe like a spooky game. But I don't know what I should play. I want like, I have like very specific requirements for a spooky game, which is it's short, like I can play it in one sitting, and it's not too scary. <laughs> Alexander Dean, hello! Welcome to the chat! Good to see you. Hope you're having a good day. You play Little Nightmares. I have not. Um, it's an older game, right? Wasn't it for like PS PS3 or or PSP or something? Phasmophobia. Oh my gosh, I've tried playing it before. Uh, that it. Well, one, it's too scary, and also <laughs> I'm too scared. Like I literally couldn't like move. I was like, I, I had to like go down to the basement or like, you know, go into rooms to follow the ghost around. I was like, I can't, I can't do it. I can't go in there. <laughs> um, and also it requires, I think, some knowledge about the mechanics. I've actually watched a number of Phasmophobia streams. I'm not scared watching it, but um, I like don't understand the mechanics well enough. Like I'll watch streamers and they'll be like, oh, like dots. They got, we got dots and like we got... We got the whatever EMF reading, whatever. That means it's a bug. And I'm like, I don't know what that means. Also, I have no money, so how am I supposed to like buy anything? I don't know. <gasps> a person. Grr. Oh no. Oh no. Is this the machine room? I think it is. I still have no idea how to play. Oh really? <laughs> I mean, maybe it's fun to just like run around and be scared. Recently played Little Nightmares 2. It was excellent. Ah, so is it like a story game? Like, or is it what kind of what kind of game is Little Nightmares? Little Nightmares. Uh. Okay, I guess I just go down. Ninety-nine of the time, anytime there's dots, everyone isn't sure what the dots look like. <laughs> really? I see. Okay, so I'm not alone. On Steam, surprise the enemy. You're just a little guy trying to run through the levels. Kill myself. Actually, I'll attack. And I heal. Heal. 
Noah. Okay. Little Nightmares is kind of like a stealth platformer. Ah. Okay, interesting. Is it is it playable in like one or two sittings? Or is it is it longer than that? My some other options are maybe playing I'm on observation duty. Which but I'm actually kinda scared to play it by myself. <laughs> I mean, like, I know chat would be watching too, but like... Um, I, I've played it with friends before. And I still got a little bit scared. But if I'm physically alone, I think it'll be scary. It's not too lengthy. It's like 5 or 10 hours total, but depends on how good you are. Ah, okay. Okay. Interesting, interesting. Oops, I forgot that Gala was already spirited. This thing is very scary. Well, can I fit another move into Noah's bar? Oh my god! That's so strong! Why would you do this to me? I gotta heal. I gotta heal. Odd World for PS1. It's not really a horror game, but it's got a dark, creepy atmosphere at times, and the gameplay itself can be a little spooky. Ooh, I've never even heard of it. But I'm always down to play, like, good good PS1 games. Um, yeah, if it's not too scary, I think that's totally doable. I'm glad we're back in Ligaya. The world must be saved. Indeed. Uh... Oh, there's treasures everywhere. Uh, where are all the... Uh. Devil pump? What the heck? I'm curious about Oddworld. I have a fondness for old PS1 games. <laughs> Googling it. Ooh. It looks creepy. There's a funny looking dude on the on the cover on the cover art. Interesting. It's a cartoony game. I add a... Uh... Need my move te cheat sheet. Can I fit this? Uh... Right, right, left. Right, right, left. Up, up. Ah, oh, I can't. Can't fit it. Okay. Uh, we'll do up, up, left, down, right, down, right. Up. I guess. Did Noah get a new outfit? Yeah! Or did she? I can't remember. I bought a new outfit for Gala. I think I gave her new sh shoes and new headgear. Oh, I can't do low on this monster. I can't remember. I, I, I do not remember what I like. I barely remember what I was doing the last time I streamed. <laughs> I definitely got a new headgear. Yes. Good blocking. Excellent. Excellent work, everybody. Oh, I remember some cocky dude you were fighting. <laughs> yeah. He was like. He was like, kind of like, oh, hey, I'm, I'm, hey, what's up, guys? I'm here. I'm kind of busy right now. If you want to talk, we can, we can hang out, but 
I'm busy destroying a town and all of their livelihoods. So, uh, just hold on a second, right? Like, he was, like, kind of friendly. <laughs> Did you ever finish Harvest Moon? No! I, I'm gonna play- I'm gonna, um, stream Harvest Moon tomorrow. And, um, I'm thinking about making it sort of like a... chat- chat about Japan while- while doing Harvest Moon. <laughs> I'll play some more Harvest Moon tomorrow, and then maybe I'll- I'll talk a little bit more about my trip. Um, because I don't- there's not much, like, going on gameplay-wise. So it can just be kind of a hangout stream, I think. <gasps> the spring salts! I still don't know what this is. Does it have a description? What's so special about these? Spring salts. Turns a regular bath into a hot spring. What? That's magic. But yeah, I do want to finish um, harvesting very soon. I think... Um, where am I going? Oh, this way. I saw a chest over this way. Uh... But yeah, there's Harvest Moon. Harvest Moon has got some exciting stuff going up, going on, but they're they're probably going to be spread far apart. Like there's a couple of festivals. I think we um, a couple, maybe one or two winter festivals that um, are coming up that are romance related. So I would like to see what cutscenes we get um, now that we're married. And, and also the, um, Anne is expecting a baby and I don't know when the baby will appear. I have forgotten how long it takes. So yeah, I got married to Anne. You can, you can, you can look through the VOD for the beautiful wedding ceremony that was like five seconds long. But yeah, there's a baby, and then um, to get the f the best score, like the perfect ending, I need uh, a second baby. Uh, or Anne has to be at least pregnant with a second baby. So I think I will just make it. I'm actually kind of afraid I don't have enough time for the second baby. <laughs> but I think we might just make it. But yeah, we're pretty close. I think I'm in winter now. So we have like three more seasons to go until the like end, like the end end of the game. And we will all find out together whether I got the perfect ending or not. <laughs> um, there is actually a cheat to preview which ending you will get. Um, like if you go to sleep and press some combination of buttons, it'll like skip straight to the ending scenes and it will show you like what endings you will you will get if you were to end the game like right now uh but i don't want to do that ahead of time i want to be surprised and like find out on stream with with chat um and then after that i don't know there's so many i want to replace it with another harvest moon game because i have I have, uh, I still have A Wonderful Life, which I haven't played at all because I kind of wanted to play it on stream. And I have Rune Factory 3 Special, which I haven't even taken out of its shrink wrap because it's also one I think would be kind of fun to play on stream. But, but Super Mario RPG Remake is coming out in like a month and I want to play that on stream. So I don't know, so many choices. I think my only choice is I just have to stream every day. <laughs> but then I, I think I'll be sad. I want to do other stuff. Can't wait for my RPG. Me too! It's gonna be so good! I'm so excited, and, and you know it's gonna be like... They're gonna add like extra little things. There's gonna be surprises. I'm I'm really excited for the, um, the team, like the Chrono Trigger style, like team moves. Like, that seems really, really fun. Oh, Gala's gonna die! Oh, I should, I should fight this thing first. What am I doing trying to beat up this orb? Played the original a million times as a kid. Dude, I, I want to say same, but I don't think I ever beat it. I think I only, I started it a million times, but I never finished it? Yeah, I don't think I ever finished it on my own. Um, I've seen... Um, my sister... I think I watched my sister complete it, and then I watched a Let's Play... The Game Grumps play it, actually, I think. They played it a year or so ago. Um, 
Yeah, but I don't think I've ever actually, ever actually beat it myself. I've gotten quite far in it, from what I remember, but I never beat it myself. Yeah, but it's, it's gonna be so... It's gonna be so good. I'm mostly excited that more people are gonna know about the game. I, I don't think it's particularly unknown, but I think it's just a game that not a lot of people play have played. So I'm excited for more people to like enjoy it. I only beat it once. The final boss was tough. Mm. Yeah, I, I I do remember. I think I do have a vague memory of my sister like struggling with the final the final boss. Cause isn't isn't it kind of like a boss rush? There's like several bosses in a row. Or something like that. I can't remember. Gino Amiibo. That would be amazing. I I don't. Oh no! Why is he blocking me so much? Yeah. I don't collect Amiibos. Um, I don't think I have any currently. I used to have some, but I I might have given them away or something. But if they came out with a Gino Amiibo, I would probably get it. <laughs> and and so would everyone else. So it would be I don't know. It'd be hard to find. I think. Okay, uh... Oh, the walkthrough says, Climb the left stair and one run to the upper left machine to check the front for a magic ring! Yes, please. This? No? This? <gasps> okay. And now I have the option of returning the spring salts to... the mayor? Oh. Oh, I guess I can't do anything to help Vinda right now, huh? <laughs> I just have to deliver the spring salts. Fight to the death. Fight to the death for Amiibo. I will be... I'll be there in Target armed with my... I don't know, umbrella. I always love Booster and his snippets. Bo the Booster section was always really amusing, I thought. Um, with the little mini games like hiding behind the curtain and like... The uh, the painting puzzle, um, and then of course the uh, the barrel the barrel course. Hello, Rinks and Jackoro. Hello, hello. Good to see ya. Uh, welcome to the stream. Uh, hope you are having a good night. I know I am. Um, playing Legend of Legaya is always a good time. Uh, it's good to be back! It's good to be back in streaming. I really, really miss streaming. Did everyone grow up? <laughs> um, not quite. I, I, um, I got them some new armor. And the cool thing is that the armor shows up differently in the battle scenes. So... So they might look a little bit different, but, no, uh... Because I gave them, like, new body armor and, and things like that. But yeah, but, which is one of the things I really like about this game is that your like equipment choices actually, actually like change uh, the appearance, which is always fun. Um, we were just talking about uh, uh, Super Mario RPG. I was I was lamenting about. What game I should start streaming soon? Because I I'm almost done with Harvest Moon for Super Nintendo. I say almost done. It's probably gonna take like I don't know three or four more streams. But I was like, oh, should I start another Harvest Moon style game or should I? Like I really want to start another Harvest Moon style game to kind of fill that slot because I enjoy it and I think people enjoy watching it. But at the same time, like I'm playing this and like Super Mario RPG is coming out. So, uh, it's hard. Both they are both like games I like. <laughs> Jack Coro. Yes. <laughs> I know. I know what you would vote for. But oh, I don't there's so many games to play. Ooh, is this a door? Okay. Do you go for style or stats of the other way around? I definitely go for stats. I um it's hard to like preview what the what the equipment looks like like you don't see it ever until you go into battle so i don't i don't think the game is conducive to like helping you dial up your characters but um i'm sure there's people out there who play the game uh with style too but uh, i'm a, i'm a simple person 
I saw that teaser for the music options, really impressed with the remastered soundtrack. Yeah! Oh my god, I'm so excited for the remastered music. The music in that game is amazing. It, it, I mean, it was already amazing, and I'm I'm so excited to hear like a refreshed version of it. I'll show you again. <laughs> Keep the original mix. Oh, thank you. My um, I can tell you uh, some funny things about um, my cat Marble, who uh, is very handsome. Um, I I we we had him stay at a kitty hotel place while we were gone on vacation. And um, they have like it's a it's a it's a very nice like kitty kennel place, and they actually have like this window area where um, if if the cat seems like they would be happy about it, they like put put in they put the cat into the window area to kind of just hang out and like look out the window and enjoy the sun and things like that. Um, and so they put marble in there. So he's like the window cat, right? And he, they, the people taking care of him were like, oh yeah, he, people kept stopping to like adore him in the window because <laughs> he's like so handsome. And like people would like, you know, people dropping off their other cats or like picking them up or whatever would be like, oh my God, he's so handsome. Like, what? It was, I was like, yes, I'm, I had nothing at all to do with my cat's looks, but I'm proud regardless. He's just the most amazing coloration. Yeah, he's just like pretty. He's like a cool, he's just a cool looking pet. And very, very handsome. This is a handsome dude. I think, um, even like among Abyssinians, because Abyssinians are, are known for being pretty, like, pretty handsome. Um, they've got like cute small heads and like, you know, long legs. Like, they look pretty cool. But, like, even among Abyssinians, I think he's pretty good looking. So, I don't know. He's a, he's a, he's a handsome cat. One handsome cat. I always enjoy when the, the, we take him to the vet and, like, I'm, I, I mean, of course, Marble's, like, upset. So that's not great, but Marble's upset, but, like, the vet is, the vets are always, like, he's so handsome, he's so gorgeous. I'm like, yes, praise my cat more. <laughs> he is handsome. The actual cool cat, indeed. And he's very handsome. To be fair, if I had your cat, I'd be the same way. I know. I Yeah, I mean, like, no, I don't think anyone can blame me. <laughs> he's just so handsome. He's a very good looking cat. But to be fair, I also, I mean, I think most cats are really good looking. I think, I think most cats are very cute. I um I ran I posted this on in an Instagram story I think but I I met a couple of cats while I was in Okinawa uh, which where which was one of the places I was in vacation um, and we met a chonker there was a big chonking cat that was uh, hanging out um, he was so big and it was funny because I was like oh my god he's so huge he was like really he was he was not just like fat he was like big like he was just he was like big in all dimensions <laughs> and i was like oh my gosh he, but he was he was very friendly he had a collar on so he wasn't a stray uh and he let us pet and i was petting this cat and then some like um some japanese people who were like also touristing like behind like i heard them behind me they were like oh dickhead like they were like, <laughs> they were like so surprised how big the cat was too and i was like wow i'm so glad i know enough japanese to like understand that you are also you are also amazed so that was kind of funny the beach cat oh the beach cat was so cute it was just there was um so in okinawa there's like a beach that's i think it's called I forget what the name Japanese is, but it like translates to something like star star beach or something, star sand beach. Um, so it's kind of famous. It's not very big. You just kind of walk in there and then, you know, you walk around for a little bit and like take pictures and then you leave. Like it's a, it's a small place, um, but, but there's an entrance like 
there's a there's like a little road a short road that goes into that goes towards the beach that's like under through a, a bunch of trees and at this entrance uh, which is coincidentally where a lot of like shuttles and st stuff stop like tourist shuttles or like hotel shuttles they will like stop there to drop off their their uh their guests at this like tourist location parked in this like little parking lot area was a cat it was a skinny skinny little cat um i think maybe like a year old it looked kind of young but it wasn't like a kitten it was just laying on the ground just like splayed out like totally relaxed like dead asleep not dead asleep but like it was its eyes were closed it was not a, like alert in the slightest and so people could just like walk over and like pet its belly pet its head it did not care it was so relaxed <laughs> it was just like so relaxed and then um and so yeah people just like we just I I watched it for a while, watched people come. Yeah, yeah, exactly like that emote. Uh, but yeah, it was, it was so funny because it was, it definitely knew what it was doing. It was like parked right in front of this high traffic area. Um, I mean, not that high traffic, but high traffic for Okinawa, I guess. Uh, it just parked itself right next to this like tourist, tourist place. And it was just like, yes, pets. Yes, pets. Um, and the wild thing is, uh, we were at a different tourist location later that same day um, and in the waiting room it was at a uh, it was a water it was a water buffalo tour place <laughs> I can talk more about that tomorrow maybe but um, in the waiting room there was like a like a stylized map of Okinawa where it was sort of like a um, simplified map with like little cartoon illustrations of like the various touristy spots that you might see when going around the, the island that we were on. Um, and uh, I, I, I was like, oh, this is the Star Sand Beach. Like this is where we were before. And so I pointed it out. And then as I was pointing it out, I noticed that they also had an illustration of a cat right next to it. And in Japanese, it said like cats are here. It said like neko ga iru or something like that. And I was like, oh my god, did we just meet? Like, is that do the cats? And, and I realized like do the cats like are they known to show up there? Like that's just like a place where cats show up when they want to be petted. Because if so, that's amazing. <laughs> we met like a a professional a professional like a cat whose profession is to be petted by the tourist beach <laughs> like they just like go there to be petted i guess like enough that they, they show up on the map that was a like i was just like oh my god we met a celebrity cat we met a, like the cat was like doing some kind of job i don't know i just thought that was really funny when they're tired of attention they leave yeah for sure like they're just they're like they clock in they clock out when they feel like it um, but yeah, I guess it's like a thing that the cats on the island do there. I just thought that was really cool. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, a lot of stray cats around we saw to have that job. <laughs> Indeed. Oh, it was a good time. Yes, if you if you would like to see I if you would like to see the cats that I saw on my trip. Oh wait, it's not my stories anymore. I forgot. They expire. I forgot the stories expire. No. Maybe I'll post it on threads. Uh what was I doing? Oh, I was getting the salts for the mayor. Is this this is the mayor's house? Hello, Mayor. I got you your bath salts. Oh, these are the spring salts. Thank you so much. What are these for, you ask? Oh, ha ha ha. Why, they're for putting into bath water. They make it smell just like a natural hot spring. Ha! Huh. Please take this in return. Although I know it's not much of a reward, please use it. Bonus chain. Ha ha, you must have bathed in Vidna's hot springs, yes? The mist has covered Vidna. Oh! <gasps> Silence. Silence. 
because you saved this town that such a terrible thing happened to Vinna. Oh, the irony! I feel like I am to blame for the misfortune of the people of Vinna. But there must be something we can do. If you destroy the source of the mist, then they will be saved of the mist. Saved from the mist. Say, so you're looking for a Genesis tree, correct? Well, I know where it is. It's at Mount Letona, which is next to Ratayu. But rumor has it that the ruler of Ratayu is quite a difficult fellow. But I'm sure you'll be able to handle him. Ha ha ha. Oh. Now that Hari is dead, no one can tell us about the future anymore. I feel like the captain of a ship sailing the uncharted seas. What is this thing that he gave me? Lonus chain. Get the last turn in battle? Huh. Interesting. That seems specific to certain strategies. I will ignore it for now. Okay, so it looks like we can't do anything for Vinna directly. We have to go northwest. And... Hello? Oh. Uh, we have to go northwest to, de to destroy the mist generator, I guess. Okay. I wish the elevator was in a more convenient spot instead of in a secret chamber. Cool elevator. <laughs> I think it's cool. Some Somebody else was saying it's scary. Maybe because it's operating in total blackness, but that's... So maybe that would be kind of scary. I don't know. Ooh, everyone's kind of low on HP. amazed by how bizarre the monsters look, right? There isn't really anything like the monster design in this game. I am always impressed. Good, good creature design, I think. Okay. Oh, I didn't heal. Because Gaia never got his turn. Okay, we are good. I miss the time when studios were trying to make the most bizarre thing different from the others. Mmm. Yeah, I feel like I feel like the 90s and 2000s were. I mean, probably even more so from be before then, like in the 80s. But I wasn't. I wasn't. I wasn't alive then, so... <laughs> but yeah, the 90s and the, and the 2000s were like a lot of experimenting, I feel like. Uh, and it's also really interesting that it's sort of a... Oh, is this where we're going? I guess this is where we're going? We gotta go up this bridge and through those bridges. Okay. Yeah, but it's also interesting that we're kind of going back to those um, aesthetics nowadays. I don't know. Now many want the slice of the same pie, so everyone's trying to do the same thing. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know how to how to articulate my thoughts on this matter. 
but there, it, it does seem like there is sort of a convergence, right? Like, I don't know. Like, social media all feels the same. Right, things feel like copies of each other. And like, you're not really, I don't know, as like a content creator, you're always like, um, you don't really, like, there isn't really a choice in thinking about, like, you, there's no platform to choose because you like the features more than the other features. You, you kind of have to choose it based on, like, who, where everyone is, which could depend on so many different factors. So it's like, well, it's, in a sense, it's kind of like it doesn't even matter what the features of a thing are. Just as long as there's people there, then you, you kind of have to just figure out how to make it work rather than do something interesting outside of those parameters. I don't know. And it's encouraged to stay the same and make the same things with trends, algorithms, and so on. Yeah, exactly. Like, like I, I, I'm, I'm still fairly new to Instagram. Like, I've been on it for a long time. But I only just recently started trying to, like, like, use it and, like, post on it. And it seems like a lot of it is like, oh, you use, you know, the trending music as your, like, the background music for your reel. Or you, like, you know, borrow formats from what other people are doing and try to, like, make it look similar so people click. I don't know, like, I... It's kind of, it's just a lot to wrap my head around. Neo City, Neo City's users rise up! Oh my gosh, I love Neo Cities. If nobody, if somebody here does, has not heard about Neo Cities, go there, go to Neo City, it's .com, right? Neocities.com. Um, and enjoy browsing the pages. It's so much fun. Uh, it's basically the people who want old, Check mine out, it's Hopper. Oh, really? Okay, I'll, I'll write it down to look at later. I'll write it down to look at later. Oh, it's neocities.org. Whoops. Neocities.org. Oh my gosh. Everyone go to, <laughs> go to Hopper's Neocities. It's so good. <laughs> this is what I'm talking about. Wolf. Do I kill the wolf or do I kill the butterfly? The demon butterfly. This is so good. I like I like your page offer. That's awesome. Guest book. Oh my gosh, guest book. That's amazing. It's like going back into 90s internet. It is, right? Like it and, and like if you if you go to the main New Cities page, um they they have like a directory of just like random people who have New City sites. So you can just go in there and like browse around and look at all the wonderful like 90s inspired stuff that people have made. It's it is delightful. Um I shared it actually with a coworker uh, a little while ago because we were, um, we were doing, okay, this sounds kind of weird, but um, at, in my work, some some teams have like a, sort of like a, like a speed dating kind of thing, except it's not speed dating. It's like, like we have like a bot that like matches you up every week with somebody to chat with because there's so many people and like, because a lot of people work remotely, there's not a good way to like meet people. And so if you if you want to, you can sign up for this thing where you like get randomly matched up with a, a co-worker to like talk to them because you might not be, you know, just like to get to know them. Um, and I got matched up with this person who I had not met before. And we were like, we were like, oh, blah, blah, blah. What do you like to do for hobbies? And then it turned out we both like retro games. And so we're like, oh my God, retro game, da, da, da. And then I was like, have you heard of neocities.org? And they're like, no, what's that? And then I, I sent it to them and they were like, this is amazing. And then like, a day later, they like sent me this like, um, like video, this shrine to like a very, to kind of an obscure Super Nintendo game. Like somebody made a Neo Cities website that was like a shrine to this very specific Super Nintendo game. And he was like, look what I found. And I was like, I was like, wow, I'm gonna have to play this game. <laughs> it was very wholesome, it was good. 
Do you ever get matched with an unpleasant person? No. Um. Hi. Have I? Not an unpleasant person, but I, I have gotten matched with like, you know, some people are just a little bit more awkward to chat with than others. Um, I did get matched with a person who, um, I, I feel like this was my mistake. I messed up and I asked a very awkward question without meaning to, which was, uh, my, I, I, I always like to ask like, what are your hobbies? Like, you know, what do you like to do outside of work? Cause you know, that's the whole point of, I, I think it's way more interesting to hear about what people do outside of work. So I was asked them and then they said, they like play video games. And I said, oh, what kind of video games? And they said they like visual novels. And I say, oh, what kind of visual novels do you like? And then I was like, I shouldn't have asked that question. Like mentally, I was like, why did I ask that? Oh. Ah! <laughs> And then they're like, uh, well, um, have you heard of the, they like said a specific, uh, visual novel that I, I, did, I had never heard of, but they were really passionate about it. They're like, oh, like the story's so good and da, da, da. And then I was like, oh, okay. And I like kind of briefly looked it up. It looked a little bit questionable, but I decided I didn't want to know. So I just, I just stopped looking and then. And then I, I tried to save it. I was like, I was like, oh well, I, you know, I play visual novels too. Like I like, uh, like Phoenix Wright. Like that's kind of a visual novel, or like, uh, like Danganronpa. Like those kinds of things. So like, oh, I haven't, I haven't really played those. I was like, okay. <laughs> so that was, I think, the most awkward one that I had. Um. And they were, yeah, they were, they were very shy. So I was definitely like, I was definitely the one driving the, uh, the conversation and I drove it into a ditch. I drove the conversation into a ditch and like, I, I was the person with, I think, slightly more social aptitude, but then it sort of backfired. So anyway, that was, that's the story of, uh the most awkward like matchup I've had, but for the most part, it's been pretty pleasant. Um, yeah, they did say they like visual novels, but like, I, I, yeah, I don't, I, I had a choice. Like, I could have been smart and I could have been like, oh, that's cool. And then just like not ask them about the specifics, but it, I could have just said like, oh, these are the, these are, these very safe visual novels that I know about are the, are these, have you played any of those? Or like change the subject or something. I don't know. I felt responsible. <laughs> okay, we are in some place that I do not understand. What is this? Vaughn, don't move. Where am I? Why am I here? Wait a moment. Is this Ratayu? A good chunk of VNs are saucy. Yeah, I, I remembered that in the split second that I asked the question. <laughs> Have you ever played the visual novel Metal Gear Solid? I they seemed very passionate about visual novels. I feel like they would have like I mean we this is a remote call, it was a video call, I feel but I feel like they would have gotten angry at me. <laughs> Meet a mockery. Hey Jodo, hello, Uzekiel! Congrats on reaching new area. Hope your night is going great so far. It is, it's going great. Good to see you. Um yes, we are in I'm assuming this is Ratayu, I think. We'll see. Let's see what the roster have to say. I can sense something. Noah, can you? Do you sense it? Oh, what voice did I give Ozma? I gave him kind of a baby voice, I think. It's a Genesis tree. There's a Genesis tree nearby. But wait, the Genesis tree's energy level is fluctuating wildly. What does this mean? The Genesis tree is to the east. Let's pass through the town and head east. Sounds easy enough. Okay. Whoa! Oh, okay. I thought this was going to be some kind of puzzle. Like, there's a big chasm. We have to figure out an alternative route. But no, we can just jump over it, I guess. <laughs> okay. Okay, let's head into town. Uh, is this a populated town? Oh, this fire looks ominous. Oh, these are not. Oh, you are possessed. 
Uh, let's see. Walkthrough says, take the first left. Enter the weapon shop to grab magic leaf. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. It's just like, oh no, a chasm. Whatever shall we do? And it's like, no problem. Can I read this sign? Oh. Welcome to Ratayu, the city of checkpoints? East checkpoint towards Mount Latona. Oh, that's where the Genesis tree is. West checkpoint towards Western Sea. North, Ratayu Palace. Western Sea, Ratayu Palace. Hello. Is there anything in the inn? This looks like a nice house. <gasps> Lore. There's a letter on the desk. Do you wish to read it? Yes. Harvest month, day five. You're fortunate to be able to give your life for our great mission. Be happy, Eliza. You have chosen to be a Saru bride. Tomorrow I will send guards to retrieve you. Clear your mind, purify your body, and wait. Bon Saru, Lord of Ratayu? A Saru bride? What is this nonsense? There's a strange looking wedding dress in the dresser. What? There are some shenanigans going on here. Sir, do you know what a Saru bride is? Grow! Ah! Demon fly Vigoro! I think I Everybody has Vigoro. I think? Oh no! Is this our first time seeing Vigoro? We gotta get Vigoro! Vaughn has more ingenuity than most video game characters. Other main characters would see a chest high wall and be like, we must find the key in order to get through. And Vaughn is just like, I can jump over buildings. This is no problem. Ow, ow. Ah. I feel so weak suddenly. Ah, no. Uh, I want Vaughn to get Vigoro. Do you have Vigoro? No, nobody has Vigoro. Okay, I guess it's kind of a free-for-all then. Nobody has Vigoro. Ah! I don't know how to play this game. Oh, can I add another? <gasps> I can! Can I fit in a super art? Can I fit in a super art for Gala? Uh, left, right, down, up. Oh, wait. Left, right, down, up, left, up, up. <gasps> you can. You can do his first super art. The most fought with some League of Legends. He's toxic. No. Yay, Gala's first super art. Punch that moth. I play a lot of hidden object games where main characters can't lift the rug if there's something underneath, so I gotta find a knife or something to sharp to rip it open. The only hidden object game I've played, I think, is that one with the kid who's trying to hide his his DS from his mom. <laughs> like I played a lot of that. I don't know, several years ago or something. I got you, Zekiel. I knew what you were going for. I knew immediately. Uh, let's see. Spirit, spirit, spirit. Yeah. Miss Galaxy Duck, hello. Good to see you. My vacation was good. Um, I will probably be chatting about it tomorrow. Um, in tomorrow's stream, I'm planning to play Harvest Moon, and since it's kind of a... Not not too much is going on, like, in terms of action or story, I think that'll be sort of like my, my stream while I'll talk about the, the trip. Um, but yeah, it was really, really good. I, I enjoyed it very much. A, a lot of interesting things <laughs> happened. <laughs> yeah! 
Welcome back. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I missed. I really missed streaming. I I got. I as soon as I got back, I was like, I want to stream, but I was I was just so tired. I I didn't think I would be able to do a good stream, but I I I thought about it. Um. Okay. Uh, there's a person here. Grr. Why is everyone here possessed? Rinks is gonna make a Neo Cities. You should. Ooh, ivory book. Okay, everybody needs the ivory book. I want to absorb. Mm. Ivory book here, and put one on Noah as well. Uh, maybe this one. Okay. Is Noah able to Super Tempest yet? Uh, which one's Super Tempest? I forgot. No, not yet. She has a little bit more to go. Her her bar is like almost off the screen, but it's not quite long enough, sadly. Unlike real life, I'm always excited to find a new book in this game. Oh man! What do you got against- Oh, what? There is a Saru monster in the dresser. Okay, we're just gonna not do anything about that. That's fine. They're just chilling. Um, I should lurk his laundry requires drink. No problem. Thanks for chatting, Grinks. Um, have a good laundry time. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. I'm sorry. Oh, we need to heal. Okay. I like finding new books in real life, but I I do the thing where I like go into bookstores and I look at all the books that I want and then I know, but then I don't buy anything <laughs> because I know they will just sit around not being read. Um, so instead I buy a bunch of Kindle books and they sit around digitally, but at least I, at least they're not taking up space. <laughs> um, I started a couple of books recently, actually, um, right before my trip. And then I, I just never finished it. And then I bought another book. <laughs> just like, why am I doing this to myself? Um, the only books I read anymore are video game guides. I wish I had the patience to read books. I know, right? Like, I, I want to read books, but I just... I prioritize video games first, and then... Um, if I do read, it's usually like a manga. Because they're just so... I think mentally easy to like... It's just like, oh, I'm going to sit down and read this in like, you know, 20 minutes or something like that. Like, that is so doable in my mind. So I've, I've read manga here and there, but I haven't read like a real book in like completed a real book in a while. I don't know where you can buy a good video game guide anymore. Ah. I swear they don't make guides like they used to. I've never, yeah, actually, I haven't even looked, like, shopped for a video game guide in a really long time, because I just Google stuff now. Even, like, even the fact that GameFAQs is just, like, around still. I just use GameFAQs. Like, even though the walkthroughs are, like, you know, from 2001, they're still pretty useful. There's still a lot of good guides out there. Oh, is this one actually long enough? Wait, let me try. It's not long enough. Dang it. Uh, oh no, I gotta type it back in. Oh, there we go. Wish video game manuals still came with the game. Oh yeah! That's sad. I, I recently... Um, so another part of my trip, I was um, visiting Singapore, which is where my husband is from, and we were staying at his childhood house with his parents. Um, I did rummage through all of his stuff. 
<laughs> and uh, we took back some some old DS games that he had. And they had all they had all the little instruction booklets and stuff. It was really <gasps> ooh, I absorbed it. Yay. Um it had all the little instruction booklets and stuff, and I was like, oh man, I gotta read through these. But you know when you're like a kid or when you're younger, you like don't think twice about it. Cause you're just like, oh, it's just an instruction booklet. I'm just gonna ignore it. But like now it's like a precious thing because they don't exist anymore. <laughs> it's so strange. Should have appreciated instruction booklets while they were around. Uh, just started a new book two days ago and has a euthanasia coaster in it. What is a euthanasia coaster? In unrelated news, I learned that a euthanasia coaster is a real idea. Somebody had what is what is that? That sounds kind of scary. A door of wind. Excellent. Is there a monster in this cabinet? There's a painting in the dresser. Do you wish to see it? Uh, I'm scared. Is it gonna show like a scary picture? It shows three pretty girls and a couple who look like their parents. In one of the corners, it says, To our dear father and mother from Finn, Fow, and Fem. And from their other daughters, Fee, Fi, Fo, Fum. Hmm. Interesting. It's a euthanasia. A euthanasia coaster is a roller coaster designed to kill people in with extreme G forces? Uh. Does that seem like a particularly, like, less painful way to die? I guess you would become unconscious or something, and then you just wouldn't, like, know that you die. That's the only reason I can think of. Wow. Uh... Let's see. What other houses can we rummage around? I want to find lore. Ooh, more stuff. Healing Bloom. Is it like a sci-fi book? Like a future in which euthanasia coasters exist and are wanted? Can I go through this? Really? Oh, that's the armor shop. Skull Knight Demon Fly. Vaughn's sword gives a very sci-fi feel. I feel like Vaughn's outfit in general looks kind of sci-fi to me. I don't know why. Gala's too, but... But Noah's does not. Vaughn's sword looks like a... Like a Gundam sword or something. It's got like cool colors on it. Get down. Yeah, Gala, Gala looks like Gala looks sci-fi because his kind of his like model looks kind of he has the tiniest waist. He looks like Mega Man. Like he looks he looks like a robot from he, he looks like a what 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 are the good guy robots called in Mega Man? I almost said replicants, but that's a different game. <laughs> Reploids, that's what they're called. Reploids. <laughs> it's about how it's how high we go in the dark. It's about a near future where a deadly, very deadly pandemic starts after the Arctic permafrost melts. I feel like I've heard about it. Was that like? <laughs> I feel like I heard about that specific thing. Arctic permafrost. Or maybe that's a common sci-fi thing. Like a mysterious m m humankind debilitating disease emerges from ancient times because it was preserved in, in ice. Maybe I'm confusing it with a different story. But that sounds interesting. Replicant sounds familiar, but I forget where it's from. Um, I think it's from the near, like the near games, like near Automata and near Replicant. Yeah. Um, 
which are wild stories. Uh, I recommend them. I enjoyed, I enjoyed Near Automata a lot, and I also enjoyed Near Replicant. They're very interesting stories. I have never. This is an embarrassing question. Is Blade Runner a movie or a book? <laughs> I know it's a movie, but I don't know if it was a book first. Um, and I have never read or watched it. I feel like I should, since I, I hear comparisons uh, to to it all the time with regards to Nier. Now that I think about it, you never fight Saruka as humans as regular enemies. <gasps> That's true. I wonder why. Maybe, maybe, because like in the fiction of the of the world, like Saru possessed people is like the number one cause of death, right? Like you don't want to be caught in the mist because you'll get attacked by either crazed Saru or you'll get attacked by Saru possessed people, right? Or is it that you'll just like die eventually if you get possessed or something? Is that why people are afraid? Uh, should I heal? Oh, I should heal Noah. You should attack the Vigoro and you can defend. Presumably that was why that one kingdom imprisoned all their citizens beforehand. You think they'd all be hostile? Yeah, yeah. Like, I, I think that's like the reason that you want to like not be around in the mist if you're like not possessed yet. But I guess from like a like a characterization point of view, like it would probably kind of a bummer if your protagonists were going around like having to kill people's friends and family. <laughs> so maybe that would create sort of like moral complications that the story writers didn't want to deal with. That's the that's the reason I can think of off the top of my head. Is that maybe it just kind of makes it morally complicated for these like 14 year old children to be like Oh yeah, I killed your dad because they were attacking. Sorry. The flip side is that some of these enemies are Saru possessed humans, but they are so warped that you just don't notice it. <gasps> is that true? I don't like that. That's scary. That's a, that's an interesting theory, though. That definitely brings a little bit of extra darkness to the game, huh? I mean, I, I guess that's what would happen if you're possessed long enough. You just like turn into one. Please, no, absorb this guy. Absorb. No. Ah! Ooh, level up. Excellent. I have to move the ivory book. Like the Vero could actually be the friendly baker Jim who makes the breast croissants. No, not Jim. Where will I get my croissants now? Uh, back these pendant. That's important. Target chain. Need target chain. Mm. We'll put that every book here. Okay. Um, I forget what I was doing. More lore. I'm looking for lore. Did I go into this house? Apparently so. Mm -hmm. Er. Beacon ties. I went into the Did I go into this house? Or are these doors open? Oh I did. Ah! I love how many equipment slots you get in this game, especially the three accessory slots. Yeah, it really gives you a lot of, um, I don't know, options to work with. It also gives you room to be dumb like me and just keep May's pendant on Vaughn at all times because it's cuter that way. <laughs> It'd be fun if the accessories also showed up um, in battle. <gasps> she leveled up. Can I do this super javelin? Or super, what is it called? Super, super tempest? Right, right, left, right, right, left, up, up, up. <gasps> I 
can do it, but she's not. Oh, I don't have enough AP. That's okay. Okay. Oh, she can do it. Yeah, yeah, get him. Yeah, get him. Oh. Thousand damage, not bad. Get burnt. Oh, everyone's doing super arts today. I should try a different super arts from Gala just to see what it looks like. I think he can do... Yeah, there are two more I can do. Okay. Is there any more lore? I'm kind of scared to run around. Okay, I think if we reach the end of the lore, I guess we will go upward to... Wait, we want to go east. Oh, hello. Menacing eyes. Don't try it, buddy. No, please let me go. I'm so tired of fighting you. moth like emits like like uh old school tv static <laughs> i don't know how to describe it like crt like crt colors oh maybe it's gonna die though we'll look at it next time Oh, I forgot to change Gala's attack so we can have some variety. Oh well, if it works, if it works, it works. Okay, there is no east entrance. Do I have to go north first? And then east. Ah! Vigoro. You will be mine. I will absorb you. Okay, let's heal everybody. Then you, Super Tempest the Vigoro. I guess you can also attack, but let's change you to down, up, left, up, up, down, down, and see what that looks like. You can also attack the Vigoro. He's <laughs> back. Jim will never die. Yay, orb. Ah, refreshing. refreshing. Oh, headbutt. <laughs> that looked pretty funny. Ah! only he headbutted hard enough to absorb magic. Oh well. Oh my gosh, I just remembered. Should I try raiding? Should I try raiding somebody at the end of the stream? I've been meaning to try it for like a while, but then I kept forgetting. 
Because I would do my whole like, bye everybody, thanks for the stream. Um, but I don't know what the, I don't know what the etiquette is for raiding. Like, do I, I mean, I, I've had people raid me without knowing me, so, and that seemed fine. Like, I wasn't like scared or anything. Like, I, thumbs up from his galaxy duck. Like, I don't, I don't know what the strategy is. Cause I, I don't like, I don't know a whole lot of other people on Twitch. And like, are there's like people I follow, but I like don't know them. And I don't, I don't want it to seem like I'm like, hello, big streamer. Look at me, I'm raiding you. Like, I, I, I don't want to be like perceived. <laughs> so. No strict etiquette really, but usually people raid people who are at least somewhat familiar. If not, no big deal. Okay. Okay, so there's some norms, but it's not, like, weird to, like, cold raid somebody. Like, I've noticed, like, some people who've raided me because I'm, like, playing a game that they were playing or a game that they like. Um, is this? Where am I going? Good enough. Okay, so maybe, I don't know. Uh, hello. There's people here. Uru. <laughs> Oh boy. You could always raid Lefish247. They aren't a real streamer, it's just a JPEG of a fish. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> that seems safe. That's the other thing is like, I don't want to raid somebody and then they turn out to be like, I don't know, like a weird person or like not. Like it's probably smart to like check them out for a couple minutes, right? Before you like raid them. Milana is doing a charity stream too. Oh, okay. Uh, I will I will write their name down so I can check them out before I end the stream. I don't know. I want to do like pe like so many people have raided me here and there, and I want to be like nice back. I guess <laughs> I was thinking about like how do I how do I like pay it forward? You know. That would be awkward. Hello, Raiders. We're doing a feet ranking stream. Oh, God. Yeah. Probably should check it out before I press the button, huh? Sometimes I'll be in a family friendly stream and then suddenly they raid to somebody playing the boob game and I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> oh, no. That's awkward. Oh, no. Yeah, I feel like it comes with some responsibility. But I mean, I guess the worst case is like. I mean, you just leave, I guess, if you get accidentally get raided into a place that you're like, huh, oh, awkward. <gasps> yes, absorption. Oh wait, <gasps> this shadow guy. This this guy looks like a gestalt from near replicant. They look like the ghost, the wiggly ghost people. Whoa, that's scary. I absorbed him with his brain. Indeed. Whoa, these guys. Whoa, 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 this this shadow thing looks like. I can never find a clear answer online about what you can do to increase Saru capturing chances besides the bug. Ah, okay. So I looked this up a little while ago because um, one day when I was uh, one day when I was uh, streaming Legend of Lagaya. Um, there was a bunch of people like who had played before and they were like, oh, if you do this, like if you attack with, you know, a certain character because they have a certain element, like it'll be easier to absorb or, you know, you have to like try not to overkill them as much as possible because the, you know, there's, there's, there were these like tips that people were giving me. And so I was like, oh, okay, like, um, cool. I'll just like try them. And then I was like curious to know if like, yeah, I was in the middle of the stream, so I was like, oh, why not? Like, we'll just try it, whatever. But, um, I looked it up, and apparently, uh, nine years ago on the Game Facts forum for Legend of Lagaya, uh, the person who created the walkthrough that I'm looking at right now, they did a, like, an analysis. They, like, stepped through the game's code to, like, figure out what the Saru capturing logic was, and it is essentially just 
I mean, I say essentially, it is, it is just, it is just percentage chance. There is no trick to it except for like the book. So that was surprising to me. <laughs> so you can literally do whatever. It like does not matter. It's just a percentage chance based on the level of the Saru and the type of Saru, apparently. So yeah, I think they also disproved the magic kill thing, but I, I can't remember. You'll have to find, I have to look it up later, but if you if you Google around, you'll find that GameFAQ post um, by the person who stepped into the Saru capturing logic. But yeah, it was, that was surprising to me. Um, because I, I do remember as a kid also like reading about these like tricks for how to increase the Saru absorption rate, but apparently it's uh, it's like pressing up and B for Pokemon, like it makes you feel better, but it doesn't actually do anything. So that was interesting to find out. Uh, okay, so we are taking, All right, let's head up the stairs. Rating someone in the same or similar ca category is also good. Okay, that seems like a pretty safe bet. Just kind of like browsing the, the, I don't know, seeing if there's another Legend of a Guy category or something. Whoa, there's a lot of entrances here. Uh, oh yeah. Um, take the right staircase and take the first door to the right. Or swift water. I've heard people say you gotta kill them with a combo that ends with up command for better chance or things like, ooh, I haven't heard that one. <laughs> that one's interesting. Some of those percentages really suck. I've had bad streaks of getting orbs, for example, in playthrough. Yeah, it's it's really just a, just, it's really just good or bad luck, <laughs> unfortunately. Or just a game you're familiar with. Ah, ooh. Harvest Moon. Yeah, I guess I could. I guess there's a lot of like Story of Seasons type of games. Maybe I could like. And I think statistically, people are likely to be pretty chill. Like Harvest Moon players are probably like pretty nice. <laughs> so that seems like a safe category maybe to check out. Gotta end the combo with the command arm that has a Rasuru on it for better chance, and that counts for hard stick. Oh, I've heard that. That one I heard as a kid, too. You have to end it with a Rasuru combo. What is this attack? Back punch. Three times. Spin around rapidly. It's been to win. Noah is the only one that needs to absorb this guy. Come on. Oh. Ow. I'm amazed that this this. Uh, totally legit program that I'm using to play this game. It, um, my my controller rumbles when it's supposed to. It's kind of amazing. Maybe it's not that hard. I don't know. Oh, what am I doing? I want Noah to attack this. Okay. <laughs> Come on! Yay! We're good to go! I mean, real hardware. The very real hardware. Indeed. That is what I meant to say. <laughs> Considering how much of a pain in the ass it is to find any of these games anymore. Legit enough. Yeah, I, I, I think this is like a fair, a fair situation in which I am allowed to use totally legitimate real hardware. What was she wearing before? Uh, <laughs> I think metal ring. Metal ring. You no longer need this. Uh, if you get cruel, sure. Or do you have like an MP one magic ring? Yes. Okay. Great. What's in here? Ooh. Little balconies. How pretty. A swift water. 
I think at this point, Sony released the ultimate PC retro console client or something, but no. Oh, hello. Ooh, crystal balls! Well, this is a big... Have I been in here? Where is this? Uh -huh. This place is huge. Thank goodness. Okay, let's just check out all the rooms, I guess. Ah! Evil shadow. Yeah, I wonder why Sony hasn't released any like, cause like there, there's like the the uh, oh my gosh, I forgot what they were called, the NES Mini and the Super Nintendo. Mi what is this? What is this? Excuse me. What? Press X to decide your fate? What are these options? Uh, what, what is, what, what? I, defense decreased. Ow. Oh my God. Okay, I gotta kill these guys fast. <laughs> I don't want that to happen again. Um, that was scary. Die, evil shadow. I would like you to die first. You're scary. Stop blocking! Punch, 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 punch! Punch him! Elbow! That was in this October thing in the back. You know, my husband has been saying all month. Like, he keeps, like, pointing out Halloween decorations, and he's like, oh my gosh, can you believe it? They're already decorating for Halloween. I was like, I was like, it's October! October is spooky month! And he's like, but it's not Halloween yet. I'm like, what are you talking about? It's October. All of October is Halloween. He's like, that's crazy. I'm like, what? So I don't know where he's coming from, but that was the thing he said. And I was surprised. I think all of October is is Halloween. <laughs> I think all of October is Halloween. October 30th. Can you believe the decor? I don't know. Yeah, like I feel like, I don't know. So apparently Halloween's not like as big of a thing where he's from, so I can kind of understand it. Uh, it is a big thing in Japan. Oh my gosh. That, oh, that's why I kept coming up because like, I feel like it's almost bigger in Japan than it is here in the United States. Like, like literally every store we went to was like, oh, special packaging, like special Halloween packaging for all, you know, all of our cookies or like special Halloween drinks and special Halloween like themed merchandise and all this and um my husband was like wow and i was kind of surprised too because i feel like it was very it was very prevalent but i wasn't like i was like a little surprised but not that surprised oh hello suspicion don't be suspicious um <laughs> october 31st morning <laughs> I'll tell him that my chat was roasting him alongside me. Uh, let's check out this room, I guess. Nothing. Ah. Yeah, but they, the Halloween's like really a big deal in Japan, it seems like. I, I have never been there. I've been to Japan a number of times, but never during like October. And it was, it was very Halloween. All sorts of decorations and stuff. Maybe, maybe it feels more prevalent because everything's so close together. Did my, did you hear my, my totally legit hardware make a, like a weird beep? I made a weird beep out of my speakers. I don't know if that came out of my, oh, okay. I guess it can't process the, uh, can't process that particular attack, I guess. The audio of that particular attack. 
I don't think that happened in, in the uh, original game. Look <laughs> at the trick or treat kids coming by. I kind of wish we had trick or treating in my neighborhood. I, I live in an apartment where I don't think a lot of kids live. I, I wanna, I wanna, like I don't ever really want a house because it seems like a lot of work to take care of. But the only reason I would want it is so I can give trick or treat candies and stuff to kids. <laughs> this is the original. I mean, yeah. Guess that's just how it. Just that's just how it sounds. I uh, I was thinking about like, um, because you know how I did the the Pokemon card opening stream last weekend, and I have all these extra cards. Like I spent. Oh my gosh! After the stream, I spent like three hours afterwards just organizing everything and like, like putting everything in set number order and like seeing how much like I made a spreadsheet of all the cards in the set and I like checked off which ones I have and which ones I don't have it was wild but um I have a bunch of I, I mean long story short I have a lot of duplicates and I was like oh I wish I could like put these in envelopes and like give them out for trick-or-treaters like make like little random small packs and give them out I'm not like a player or anything. I just wanted like, I just wanted, you know, to open packs because it's fun. But, uh, so I was thinking maybe I should bring them. I don't know. Maybe I should bring them to my, one of my sisters who live in like a more, or suggest it to my sisters who live in a more like suburban area. Maybe they could do it. I don't know. I think that'd be fun. What is this? Oh, hello. Blocking the door. Okay, so I can't go that way. We need adult trick or treat. Adults go trick or treating and they get tax refund. <laughs> what are you doing out here, little dude? Okay, just enjoying the air. Got it. Uh, I guess that's all for here. Am I healed? No. Let's heal. Okay. I sure hope- Ah! I sure hope I find a save point soon. I feel like it's been a while. Evil shadow scares me. What's the best Halloween costume you have ever worn? I want to hear about people's Halloween costumes. Or is that like a thing that you all do? No! Why? Uh. Is there. What is this baby one? I'm scared. Oh, it looks like it's like sighing. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Excellent. I'll take it. Kill this thing. I'm sure that I'm sure that Grim Reaper icon is the most <laughs> safe one. You got clothes to dress like Pete. Oh, okay. Like for this year? Or or you know, in a prior Halloween. Or maybe all years. Maybe you dress as Pete at all times. <laughs> Harvestman seems like this year. Okay, cool. Harvestman seems like it'd be a fun, like, relatively easy cosplay to do. I should think about that. I could probably pull off, like, a Maria, maybe. My hair isn't long enough, but I don't know. I could put in a braid. It would be like a, like a budget Maria. I could pull off a Maria, I think. I've got the glasses. I'd have to find, like, a cute... Oh, she has a cute dress, though. I have to find, like, a cute, like... Like, sweater dress. <laughs> of a bunch of tools as well. Oh my gosh. You should do the thing. I hope you take pictures of you posing. Like, when you change the tools and the tools, like, floating above. You know, I, I put my arm up. You can't see it because I'm a stupid little picture. But you can, like, put your arm up and, like, the tools, like, above your head. 
like you're changing, you're changing, uh, you're swapping between your tools. That's great. I love that. Bam! Taken down. I don't know, that'd be really funny. And if you really wanted to be extra, you could like Photoshop like the, like the like toolbar and stuff on top of the photo. <laughs> I don't know, that would be funny. Ah, a large room has appeared. Uh -huh. Looks distressed. This is a cool castle. Healing berry. <gasps> There's a dude up there. I'm scared. Oh, more treasure. Don't mind me, dude. I'm taking all your treasure. I think my favorite costume I've ever done. Um, I did it for Halloween once when I was in school. Um, is I, I put together like a really scrappy costume of Trainer Red from the original Pokemon games. Like I found like a, I found a white short, short sleeved like collared shirt and then I found like a a red shirt and I sewed them I like cut them up and sewed them together to make the like I don't know what you call it like the sports jacket thing that red wears and then I ordered like a hat off of Amazon and then you know and then you just wear jeans right and then I took a big piece of cardboard and I drew out the like uh like trainer red wants to battle like i drew pixel by pixel like with a sharpie i drew like the individual pixels on like a big like piece of cardboard and hung it around my neck while i was walking around and i was very proud of that one um i also wore it to the local anime convention after that and that that's the only one and only time i've been asked to like be photographed <laughs> like people would stop me and be like can i take a picture of you and i'd be like yeah and it's just like me like awkwardly thumbs up with my my cardboard sign that I made. <laughs> Who is that? He does not look like he's having a good day. What's the matter? Oh my gosh, you look sick. He's kind of wiggling. A visitor. I saw you and pleased. I have something nice for you. Saw you. You're possessed by Saru. How can you speak to us? I cannot understand difficult words. I give you the key to Latona. Oh, thank you. Okay, I guess he's nice. The Latona key will open the gate. You can reach Mount Latona's genesis tree there. The mist can be driven from Ratayu. Then I can be with my bride. I am pleased. I give you this West Ratayu key too. Uh, oh, okay. All oh, right. I didn't understand everything, but I got the part about the Genesis tree. I think he'll give us a key to reach the mist generator if we revive the Genesis tree. It sounds good, but something troubles me. But Saru said something about brides. Gala, let's help him. Vaughn, I will let you decide what to do. The gate of Latona is in the town's eastern wall. Please do this for me. I didn't see no gate. I'll look again. Okay. Oh, I want to go down the center because I haven't been this way. Very trustworthy. He said something about brides. He said something about brides, and we saw that letter about being a Saru bride, being chosen as a Saru bride, which is, a. Uh, I don't know. Sounds a bit sus. Must be talking about this anime figure. Oh, no. Oh, the beep! It happened again! <laughs> Why? Beep. Beep. I'm sorry if that's like, I hope it doesn't come across as like super loud or anything. I don't know how to like not make it do that. <laughs> it's not too bad? Okay. That was a relief. I do not even know where to be, like how I would begin debugging something like that. 
one of the enemies is it's the 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 vigoros or clowns secretly i guess Oh, I remembered another costume I did one one year. Uh, when I was in university, I my I never really played this game, but at the time, a bunch of my friends were really into Blaze Blue, Blaze Blue, Blaze Blue, Blaze Blue. It's it's like a fighting game series. I don't know how popular it is. I think it's relatively popular. I've drawn commissions for it before, but um, anyway, there's a character that's like a cat girl kind of but she has like a mask and um like really long like sweater sleeves so i think what i did was i i found i made the mask it's kind of scary looking i made the scary looking mask out of like construction paper and then i found like a like a big hoodie that was like kind of the same color at like at like a goodwill or something and then I just like showed up to our like little, um, I don't know, what am I doing? We sh I showed up to our little like, uh, Halloween party like that. And I like scared, <laughs> like one of, my, one of my friends was like, Joy, if I saw you walking down the street at night, I would run. I'm like, really? I don't think this is like, it's made out of construction paper. Is this really that scary? He's like, that's so scary. I wish I had like a picture of it. Um, ah! I forgot what her name was. It was like Ta Tama, Tama something. She was like a cat, a cat character of some kind. I don't even remember. But yeah, it was literally like a like a thirty minute costume I put together, <laughs> which is the best kind I think sometimes. No. Okay, so now now I know the baby one is the like. And the walkthrough says, if I click X with the thing I want at the top, it'll it'll work. Please, ah! okay. Well, phew, you. Yeah, this this walkthrough is so good. It's very thorough <laughs> about details. No, um, one thing that it does not do is it doesn't lead you to all the like lore pieces, so you're kind of on your own for that. I I made that mistake when I was following it for Drake Drake Castle near the beginning of the game. There are a lot of like little notes and stuff that you could do that I just totally missed because I was straight up following the, uh, the walkthrough. Learn something new every day, even about decades old games that I've gone multiple times through. Isn't that like the best though? It's, it's like so exciting. It's just like, ah, oh, the game keeps on giving after all these years. <laughs> oh, everybody's so violent in here. I think everybody needs to spear it up. Okay. Ow. Ow. 80 damage. Weak sauce. up a little bit. Just heal myself. Okay. It's taking forever just to get to that dungeon with the actual tree in it. I know! I feel like all I did was just, like, walk from place to place. 
And it's already been like a little over two hours, which means I probably should end the stream like, I don't know, kind of soon. <laughs> so maybe we'll get to the next save point and I'll end the stream. But uh, let's see. So I need to go southeast. Ah! Uh. I guess I could like save and then like wander through the dungeon and like, grind through the dungeon off stream. Or maybe level up a little bit. I don't know. I hope I'm. I don't know what. What level does the walkthrough recommend? Uh, level recommends level 22. What level am I? stream to hang out in while doing my grinding. Oh no! <laughs> I mean, I can play on stream if you like. I don't know, I always get kind of worried that people are are bored during these kind of more, I don't know, non-story parts. Though I guess, like, Ligaya has kind of a dense... Uh, like, the dungeons aren't that bad, actually. They're pretty... Oh, there's a path down here. Hello. Have you been here? Oh, that's the inn. Okay. Oh, this is the door. The Tona key. Why are these fires so, like, scary looking? Uh, okay. <gasps> a save. Speak of the devil. We have found a save point. Okay. Maybe we'll end the stream here. It's kind of late. And I want to actually, because I want to try raiding this time, I want to like end early enough that, uh, that I can, you know, catch people who aren't streaming super late. How do I do this? <laughs> Thanks for the streaming, great progress. Oh, thank you. I hope you all enjoyed. Enjoyed stream? Yay! It's good to be back. It's good to be back. Okay. How do I do this? Uh. Let's see. Um. Okay. So I wrote down the name that Miss Galaxy Duck mentioned. Let me see if they're still streaming. Uh, they are still streaming. Charity. Charity stream. Oh, and they're they're playing uh, Pokemon Arceus. Cool. That seems good. They seem chill enough. Okay, I will try my first raid ever. My first read ever to Milana. I'm scared. I'm gonna press the button. <laughs> She's very nice. Also PG stream. Ooh, raid. I'm scared. <laughs> no swears of any kind. Ah, okay. Okay, everyone behave yourselves. All right, behave yourselves. Thank you, Hoffer, for the warning. <laughs> okay, I'm pressing it. I'm pressing it. I'm gonna press it! Ah! I'm pressing it! No! Oh, something's happening. Okay, good night, everybody! Bye! Bye, everyone!